Welcome back to my travel series where we're discovering an underrated region of the Canadian Rockies, the East Kootenays of British Columbia. This is part two. If you haven't seen part one yet, I've got it linked. So we just checked into the Fairmont Mountain Bungalows. These are my absolute favorite cabins to stay in the East Kootenays. They're kind of tucked away just off of the highway. I feel like they're way less busy. Not a whole lot of people know about them yet. There are all these individual self-contained cabins. There's great patios. We have our own barbecue. Let me show you around, give you a little tour. After unpacking and getting settled, the weather was still hot, so it was time for a lake swim. We made our way to Whitetail Lake, about 45 minutes from Invermere. We heard the water here was supposed to be a beautiful light turquoise color, and upon arrival, we were blown away by the brilliance of the water. And we were also greeted by a gorgeous 30-site campground. So if you're looking for a hidden gem campsite in BC, this one looked fantastic at only $15 a night. All right, we're gonna see how cold the water is now. This is definitely refreshing. Translation is pretty damn cold. There's also a boat launch and the water was very shallow and calm. So if you visit here, it would be perfect to bring your floaty. Okay, that wasn't that bad. It's like 25 degrees Celsius. The water is refreshing. I wouldn't want to stay in for hours, but good enough for a couple dunks. And I mean, it's crystal clear, so pretty nice. Cheers, mate. All right, looks like Tals is cooking dinner tonight. Top sirloins, a little Montreal steak spice. Quick and easy and good when we're out traveling and you don't know if there's a little S&P or oil or anything like that, so easy go-to. And then, chop the top off with a couple bell peppers. We're gonna chop up some mushrooms, stick it in there, layer the top with a little bit of goat cheese. Throw it on the barbecue until all those flavors coagulate and get to know each other and then So we actually brought a bottle of wine from Alberta, from the Spirit Hills Flower Winery. It's like a really nice red blend, I believe. I gotta read the label to you though, because they'll tell it way better than I can. So, pairs great with Alberta summers, rodeos, barbecue, 
and all parties. <laughs> so anyway, we thought it'd be a good one for tonight. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> We're gonna crack this bottle of wine and enjoy this lovely steak dinner that my hubby cooked up for me. <laughs> Thank you. It was nothing. <laughs> The next day, our morning started with a cup of coffee and an early road trip down a gravel logging road. Bit of an earlier start this morning because we are hitting Lucier Hot Springs. We just arrived and we're the only ones here so far. Awesome. We soaked in the natural hot springs all by ourselves with our coffees for almost two hours. It was the most incredible way to start the day. I also have a longer video about this hot spring and two others in the area if you want more information on where to find them and the best times to visit. On our way back to the cabins, we stopped at a roadside farm cafe for breakfast where we dined in a lush garden setting. In typical mountain fashion, some weather started coming into the valley, so it was time to head indoors. We stopped in at Arrowhead Brewing, a local staple in Invermere. The eclectic vintage themed tap room quickly caught our attention and the extensive beer list definitely excited us. It's about one o'clock, it's starting to rain, so we figured it's a good time to have a couple pints or a lovely flight of local craft beer. This one is made with honey that they actually produce on site and they also sell jars of honey. It's really tasty. But yeah, it's this really cool like vintage inspired tap room. Um, when we first walked in, we were kind of like blown away and now we're watching everyone come in and just be like, whoa, this place is really cool. Cheers. Luckily, the weather break didn't last long, and the weather cleared up, just in time for our visit to Fantasia. Stay tuned for that in part three. Thanks for watching. Bye.